plans to torture me into submission. I can think of more interesting ways. <sighs> well, I just thought that yoga might help calm you down, you know. Oh. Help you stop being quite so restless. I was born restless. Yeah. I hate being stuck in this house. Okay. I mean, I like the company. Thanks. Aside from Martin and Lucy and their constant shagging. <laughs> you know, Lucy's not complaining about the food. Yeah. We just have to tough it out for a bit longer. We have to hide. Eileen and Victor believe that we're all dead. Assuming the plan works. Either way, we're in it now, you know? We just have to wait to hear from your contact. And then we'll make our next move. Continue gaslighting Eileen Ashby. I don't get it. You hate being cooped up in this house as much as I do. I never said that I didn't. Where's Felicia? I mean, she said she'd be late, but she should be here by now. Do you think something happened to that plan of her? I don't know. You don't have any faith in it, do you? Well, I don't think that Eileen Ashby is the right person to get to Victor. She's all we have. Really. She's all we have. And, and before she threw in with your father, I mean, her record was unblemished. I don't know what he has on her, but I can tell you she's not a career criminal. An ambitious politician. Perhaps, yeah. I mean, look, she probably just had no idea what casting her lot in with your father would cost her. She's in over her head. If we keep spooking her, she's gonna crack. She won't be able to live with the guilt. And then hopefully she'll she'll flip on Victor. Then we will be able to get all the evidence we need to put him away. I don't know. Eileen Ashby's been working with my father for a long time now. I don't know that the woman still has a conscience. Mr. Gas.